Hello everybody! Welcome back. Not welcome, welcome back to the live stream if you've been watching the live video on Facebook. Uh, this is a continuation of that live video. Well, if you don't have Facebook, well, welcome to a new live stream here on Shinichi's World. I hope you guys can see the visuals clearly. I hope you guys can hear me clearly. Right now, I'm standing on an overpass um, at Nakano Station in Tokyo and this is Nakano Dori, the main street of Nakano. Hey Bri, good to see you! That um, right there, that building right there is Nakano Sun Plaza, that really interesting building that they're gonna break down very soon. Um, unfortunately, hopefully they build something interesting there. Hey guys! Hey Danielle, hey Jean, Charkelia, Alicia, Love Summer, and Lizzie. Hello everybody! So, I'm here in Nakano. This place is located just one stop away on the train. This place is located just one stop away on the train from Shinjuku, Shinjuku Station on the JR line. As you can see, we're right at the station, so you see a lot of trains uh, running past by. And I want to show you guys why you should come to Nakano on your visit to Tokyo. It's a really fantastic place. It really is. It's kind of like a mini, 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 super miniature version of Shinjuku. There's even a Don Quixote here that's way better than the one in Shinjuku because it's a lot less crowded. So, A1, good to see you again. I did. I had a chai tea latte at Starbucks. I had a very relaxing time. I had to recharge my battery after the Facebook Live. And here I am again. Hello, everybody. Good to see you guys. So you guys ready for a trip down the, the shopping street down Nakano and then we're gonna go um, to Nakano Broadway to check out some interesting shops. And you are absolutely right, uh, Jean. This is a station to get off to the Scallops restaurant. Exactly. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh-oh, is it a bad connection? Uh-oh. Let me know. Let me know if it's a bad connection or a good connection for you guys. How is it for you guys? I can't really tell on my side. I'm going to continue when the connection is better, okay? Let me know. How's the connection on your side, guys? Is it good? How's the visuals? A lot of people are using internet here. I turned off my Wi-Fi, so it, sh it shouldn't be so bad. Ah, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. You know, it is such a beautiful today, um, but it's a little bit chilly. Awesome, I'm so happy. Connection is much better now. Okay, so here we go. So this is Nakano. Uh, once again, it's just one station away from Shinjuku. This is the station and you get off the... Uh, what, what exit is this? Uh, let, I keep forgetting what exit this is. North, south, west, east. I want to make sure I give you guys the correct information. If you get off the wrong exit, it's okay. There's only two exits here. This is the north exit. This is the north entrance slash exit of Nakano Station. Once you get off, all you do is walk straight down. And I'm going to show you why you should walk down this street. This is a street called Sun Mall. Hey, Erin. Good to see you. And Sabrina. Hello. This is called Sama and this is a typical Shotengai or a shopping street in Japan. And we're gonna walk down this street together, okay? Because it is one of my favorite local shopping streets. And as you can see, it's kind of decorated for Christmas. You can't really see it because it's daytime, but there are lights above us. This uh, shopping street is called Sun Mall and they have a lot of restaurants a lot of like side streets that you can walk into which is really nice and a lot of uh, shops and um, everything is very reasonably priced and nothing's too expensive nothing at all and a lot of ramen shops by the way because Nakano is super famous for ramen there's a small Uniqlo here okay I'm gonna try my best to not crash into people because there are a lot of people here yeah <laughs> it's not that bad on a weekday on the weekends it's crazy 
because locals love it here. There's even a capsule hotel here. In case you were wondering what this is, this is a capsule hotel because a lot of business people, businessmen come here to drink and if they miss the last train, they have no choice but to stay overnight at a capsule hotel. Yeah, Danielle, it is beautiful here at night. It really is. And you know, this place has been here for a very long time. They've uh, sort of made it nicer, but it's a pretty retro shopping mall. And it's not a shopping mall, it's like a shopping street. That's Cozy Corner. This is where we bought our cakes. If you guys watched our uh, cake review, uh, we also have a McDonald's. We kind of have everything on this street. Okinawan food, old games, a bag shop, shoe shop. There's even a Loteria. Right now they're having a Loteria Christmas chicken fair because you know, everyone eats chicken for Christmas. Oh, you guys, this is something I gotta show you, okay? Now, a lot of people, when they come here to Tokyo, they love melon pan. You know the melon bread? And they all, the, the most popular one is the one at Asakusa. To be honest with you, I don't really care for that one. Satoshi and I, neither of us think that's a good representation of melon pan. It's not bad. This is the best one. It's in Nakano, in my opinion. Right here, okay? It's right here. It's called Bonjour Bon and they have one of the best curry bread as well as melon bread. I'm not gonna go inside but I will show you the sign. See they're advertising their two famous ones. This is their melon bread and this thing oozing out of the melon bread is maple, maple syrup. It's pure maple syrup and in 2015 they won an award for melon pun of the year. But this is my favorite. It's 175 yen. It is delicious. It's the best melon bread you can bite into. And they're also famous for their curry bread. And this one won the best curry bread for this year, 2018. It won the gold award. It's 180 yen. And the reason why it's amazing is because there's actually a hard boiled egg inside the, the curry bread. It is so delicious. And I can't really go inside because you know I have uh, I'm filming. But look, just want to show you guys what kind of a, like you know like a peek into the bakery. It's a delicious local bakery. I totally recommend it if you guys like curry bread or maple bread. Okay, so we are going to continue our tour of Nakano Sam Mall, and we're gonna end up in that interesting place called Nakano Broadway. Okie dokie. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I actually got up early today. I was, I'm feeling very good this morning. And um, I had uh, some coconut water. And I, I, I felt really great. And I thought um, I'd do a live stream for you guys. And I'm going to be doing a lot of live streams on this channel because I have that Singapore thing coming up and I really have to get used to filming outside by myself. Okay, so here we are. We're at the end of this road and right in front of us is a place called Nakano Broadway. N not related to New York's Broadway in any way whatsoever. Okay, of course, there's the fabulous Mr. Donut if you go down this way. And if you go down this way, there's some fantastic restaurants. But today we're gonna go inside that kind of Broadway. Okay? Oh, Drew Foods Review, you did your first live stream today? Congratulations, how was it? I hope you had a good time. I hope things went well for you. <laughs> yeah, so here we are. And um, look at that, they have a lot of a uh, dango there. That's a little dango shop. Oh, Aaron, look at those daifuku. Oh, I bet Aaron's drooling right now. <laughs> okay, now this is a very interesting building. Super interesting building. We're gonna go straight up to the third floor and then we're gonna go one more floor up to the fourth. But there's this entire building is 
incredible because it's so unique and just a little warning um, some of the stores here are rated R uh, maybe not X but rated R so just letting you guys know okay Be before before you guys watch something you don't really want to watch like uh, like um, Guy Matt said the other day, Shinichi's world is all about the real world. And this is the real world. I'm giving you a slice of what the real Japan is all about. Okay, I gotta look for the stairs because... Oh. Okay, let's keep going. I hope the connection is still okay. I'm just looking for the stairs so we can... Uh, oh, here we are, the stairs. By the way, this place is a very confusing place. It's just a basic square building, but it's just that there are so many stores in this building, it's kind of incredible. And I always get lost here. I can never find the store I wanna go into. Now, I'm not gonna go inside any of the stores because a lot of them don't really like um, people filming because you know a lot of things here are kind of crazy. But anyway, I, I can film the outside so here's one of the store here okay and this is a really cool store if you go inside it's like a mini museum but this place specializes in uh, retro toys like this one is hundred fifty dollars and I really don't know what where this is from I guess this is based on some kind of anime or something but look at the price guys that's 165,000 yen. That's like 1,500 US dollars for this set here. It's crazy. See, these are retro toys. You see, like retro Peko chan ningyo. That's $500 right there. $500, can you believe it? There's some outrageous priced things here. Like these toys here are 55,000. That's about $500 that's like 700 there and there's some that you know go for like two thousand three thousand dollars I'm speaking softer because I'm trying not to get caught here and, and this is the entrance to the store you go through these toy gates isn't it cool this is not a shrine this is a retro toy shop <laughs> okay I'm gonna go up uh, I think I can go no let's go this way Let's see. Okay, so we're on the fourth floor, and the fourth floor is the quietest floor of a mall because um, there's not that many stores here, which is why I started on this floor. Third floor and second floor are the busiest. These are retro magazines and comic books. All here on both sides, they're all retro comic books. So if you're into that, that's really interesting. And I'm going to go down to the third floor, okay? Yeah, um, the fourth floor is mostly um, offices. Here's some very interesting uh, vending machines. A lot of vending machines too. Uh, this is not a vending machine, this is uh, the claw machine. And you can win some very interesting things. You see those keys over there. So if you get number one, for example, what do you get for number one? you get a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, if you get that key to that box, that key opens up this box where a Nintendo Switch lies behind this piece of paper. I don't really see it. I, I see a piece of paper in there. I guess you, you would take that piece of paper and give it to someone, I guess. And here's another one here. And uh, this is the same type except like you have to raise this lever and you have to try to push that that ball into that hole, I think. And if that falls, then you get one of these prizes here. Right? And here's another one here. And then if you're hungry, you can go ahead and buy some ice cream from this vending machine. <laughs> By the way, this ice cream is pretty awesome. I like it. I like it. It's convenient and it's delicious. Okay. We are going to go to the third floor. Yeah, it's a pretty fancy ice cream machine, don't you think? Yeah, 
the first time I discovered this place, I never knew about this place until my friend from Singapore came here and he told me about it. So that's kind of interesting, isn't it? You know, because Satoshi and I were not really, we were never really into these things. But my friend was from Singapore. So I had to learn it from a tourist. <laughs> Yes, Kelly, the ice cream is in the basement. We'll pass by there later on. We will. Okay, now I think I'm a bit early because I noticed that a lot of the shutters are still down. Or I wonder if Wednesdays. Oh, I see. So this shop is closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Okay. And there are a lot of like uh, clothing stores, like alternative clothing. This is another store where they have like super random things. What's here? Like, like, see, like, totally random objects for sale. You know, like dolls. And these things here. Oh. Really? Chan goes to Japan. Did, did, did he... Did your husband enjoy the ice cream? I hope he did. Oh, this store is one of the very few places where you can actually buy Funko Pops. You don't really have a big choice, but I think if um, it has something to do with gaming, you can get some Funko Pops here. And like random Disney toys and... Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys recognize these. These are like old McDonald's paraphernalia. Like that, that's kind of cool. That McDonald's um, Fire King cup, that's 3,000 yen. It's about 25 US dollars. <laughs> right. Well, there are toys. There are also like, you know, like these clothing stores as well. And, you know, one more toys. And, you know, this random, I don't know what kind of store this. I have no idea what, I, I really don't know like a lot of what these stores sell because they're, I, I'm not familiar with all the characters. A lot of watch shops too. Um, see more watch shops. Okay. I'm gonna go down to the second floor, okay? Cause I do notice that a lot of shops in the floor was closed. Am I still too early? Maybe I'm too early. A lot of shops, like they, they open much later. Here we go. Welcome to Nakano Broadway Castle. Yeah, that's just a super random castle. Okay, now here comes the rated R part. So right in front of me is an adult toy store. That's an adult, adult toy store. Not gonna go, I'm just gonna breeze through it adult toy store right next to a coffee shop where you can have delicious spaghetti napolitan and Japanese pancakes. <laughs> Here we have suddenly a vegan restaurant. And this is a totally like like all totally a uh, vegan vegetarian. Like you can actually see things like meat but this is actually not meat it's made of uh, vegetables. Same here, this is not pork cuts, it's actually made with uh, some kind of vegetable. But pretty good. It's been here for ages. I remember coming here when I was in my 20s. And then you have a lot more toys on either side of me. Like, once again, super random, but some of them are quite expensive. And then we have like a, a store for uh, train enthusiasts. So if you like trains, like Satoshi, wow. That's 120,000 yen. Wow, that's crazy. And then we have uh, stores for those who are into cosplay, like this. So if you're into cosplay, this is where you need to come. Mm -hmm. And then right here is the uh, vending machine corner. So if you get tired and, and you get thirsty, you come here to drink something. And because it's winter time, once again, you have hot drinks. Hey, Erin, look, there's a Oshiruko. That's an uncle drink for you, my friend. Uncle drink. That looks good. And by the way, this soup is delicious. This is a spicy consomme soup. Satoshi really likes that a lot. My mother likes the corn soup. 
And then there's more vending machines here. Interesting. Okay, let's continue. Sorry guys, so many of the stores are closed today. Some are open. But I guess the good thing is that it's very empty. So that's good. It's easy to film. So these are like um, figurines, I guess. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm looking at, but it's a lot of fun for me. Yeah, looks like a lot of the shops are closed on Wednesdays. Sorry, I had no idea. Absolutely no idea. But hopefully, um, I'll still be able to, you know, show you guys, you know, what this place is all about. And like in the middle of everything, look, here's a tempura shop. So you can eat in shop. And this place is really reasonable too. Look at this, you get this entire thing for 1,400 yen, so it's like 12 US dollars? It's not bad. I remember no tipping in Japan, so that's it. Let's see. Oh, here, another Funko Pop. That's the Joker. Um, the Joker. It's a figure. Some other toys. More toys inside the shop. Like, hmm, a record shop, I think. Another train store. And there's another restaurant at the end. And um, a lot more toys here. See, this building is like a treasure chest. You know, it, it's, it's kind of crazy. Here, this is overlooking the first floor. Oh, poinsettias for Christmas time. Let's look on the other side. Look, Tokyo's alternative shopping paradise. That's the perfect description of this place. Okay, let's continue. Look at this. Look at all these toys. It's, isn't it insane? First time Satoshi and I, we came here, we were like, our jaws just dropped because it was just insane. And, and by the way, and by the way, like, like this, this is the place, by the way, this is the place where you can actually buy those, um, you can actually try out those uh, vending machines for used underwear. Mm-hmm, that is true. And, you know, I actually filmed, you know, trying that out with my cousin. I shouldn't talk about it. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about it because he might get into trouble. Anyway, yeah, that video unfortunately is not going to be released for the sake of my, the people I love. <laughs> I know, right? Too late. Okay, so we're gonna go to the, the basement floor because that's another world altogether. The reason why I, I walked away from one store because I, I, my camera was pointed towards uh, the, the store and the store owner, I saw the store owner like rush out to tell me to stop filming. So I kind of uh, walked away as fast as I could. Okay, I hope the stores on the basement floor are open. It is. Okay, so now we're on the basement floor and this is where everybody comes to buy the insane ice cream cones right here. Insane ice cream cone. Insane ice cream cone. This is where you get. This is where you get the ice cream. You know, you, 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 the, the biggest one is uh, eight flavors and it's good actually. It's actually not ice cream. It's actually ice milk. So there is no cream in the ice cream. It, it, it's ice milk. No, what am I talking about? Um, yeah, there's no heavy cream, so it's actually light and and the lady said that it's very very little calories. So it's not like a rich tasting ice cream kind of ice cream. It's, it's like ice milk, but it's delicious and the flavors are quite interesting. 
here. I have a one. I have tried the insane ice cream flavor. Um, we do have a video on this. It's the uh, Nakano video. If you search for it on Tabi Eats, it'll say uh, Street Foods of Nakano. We have part one and part two, and I think it's in the part two. Yeah. Okay, and usually this side is open, but all this side is closed on Wednesdays. They have a fantastic Daiso store inside here. Unfortunately, we can't go in there. And here, they have a new boba shop. This wasn't here the last time I was here. Interesting. Oh, here, here. See, Daiso. So, <laughs> Aaron, wasn't that a blast we had at Daiso in San Francisco? Let's see if my favorite Nikuman shop is open. There's a small little grocery store here that, that sells things for super cheap. And, oh yes, this is where they have the best meat buns in Tokyo. And this is my opinion. But, you know, believe me, they have the best uh, meat buns here. It's so yummy. And, and the siumais here are fantastic. These. Didn't that look good? They're so good. Nessie, have you tried them? Have you tried the meat buns here? Ugh, I'm, oh, that made me hungry. But I'm, I'm on a diet today, starting today. So I'm not eating meat buns. <laughs> and, and, and. Here's another, uh, it's a new uh, store. It's called Cafe Chai Stall. And they sell delicious curry as well as delicious chai tea. If you like chai, the chai teas here are kind of special. They're really special. Um, they're, they're unlike any chai tea I've ever had. And so <clears throat> that store was on the, the, the basement floor and I do recommend it. it it's, it's so good. It's so good. They make it fresh. All right, I'm gonna show you guys another part of uh, Nakano. So that was basically Nakano Broadway, but with a lot of the shops closed. I'm so sorry, truly, truly sorry. So we're back on the first floor of the building. And even the first floor has a lot of things to see, like there's a game center here, a game arcade with a lot of claw machines, tons of claw machines in there. And there's a discount clothing store and everything here is pretty much under 1,000 yen. Mostly women's clothes. But my mom and my sister loves to browse through these racks. And there's a tofu shop here. And that's, they're great because they're like a tofu specialty store. So Aaron would love that. Love that. Oh! Since uh, a lot of the stores are closed upstairs if you go into this arcade you can find a lot of the gachapo machines like tons of them tons of them tons of these <laughs> yeah diana diana thank you for asking my mother and my sisters are doing fine i i you know my sister and my mother, both of them, they hardly ever catch colds. So when they do, it's kind of a big deal. Uh, like, I always catch a cold. Like my sister said on her video, like, Shinichi is a sickly one. That's absolutely true. Um, but they're okay. I talked to my mother this morning, and my mother has a cold now. My mother has a cold. She caught it from my sister, she says. Oh, by the way, um, this store right here is called Okashi no Machioka and if you want to get your Japanese Kit Kats or Japanese Pokies or Japanese candies for a super good price, I recommend this store. It's, it's so good. It's so much cheaper than Daiso for example. Like let's see if I can film something here because I want to show you guys how much they are. Can you guys see those prices at the bottom? Look, this is 59 yen or 69 yen, 59 yen. So a lot of these um, things that are sold for 59 yen here, they're sold for 100 yen at Daiso. So they're a lot cheaper here. Like here, look at that, it's like 89 yen, right? And these are the pricier ones, like these are like 200 something at the convenience stores, but these are like 157, 179, so they're a lot cheaper. So if you're, so if you're buying a lot of things, it looks like 50, 46 yen, 69 yen. 
So if you're buying a lot, if you're buying a lot of souvenirs, especially Japanese candy, come here. I mean, it's so much cheaper. Yeah, um, exactly Nasha Broad. This is a shop inside the Nakano Broadway. Yeah, Nasha Broad should know about it. He knows everything. And good to see you, Nasha Broad. <laughs> good to see you. Exactly, Gene. It's almost like buy one, get one free if you compare it to Daiso, right? Nasha Broad, you spent like $50? Okay. Whoa, that's insane. <laughs> wow. I, yeah, I, you know, I can imagine. My sister spends like $100 at Daiso. It's crazy. She needs like five baskets. Okay, we're walking outside the back exit of Nakano Broadway. And the reason why is because I'm just thinking that a lot of you guys probably missed this because you guys are familiar with the front entrance but maybe not the back entrance, right? So we're in the back entrance of Broadway. Okay. And the reason why it's important to come out this way is look, there's another Daiso on this side, right here. And this one is pretty big. This is a Daiso. Um, it's three, three stories, three stories um, high. And it's a little bit different from um, the other Daiso because this one concentrates more on um, like ceramics and food and makeup and kitchen goods but anyway it, it's worth going to both yeah so there are two Daisos in this area and they're both pretty big okay now I'm walking to my right of the Nakano Broadway so I turn right as I exit the back exit of uh, Nakano Broadway because I want to show you guys another nice street that you guys can walk through and this is where you can find all of the local restaurants in this neighborhood and I'll point out a couple of good ramen restaurants that I recommend Okidoki <laughs> Hi Hello again You know what? I'm kind of getting used to doing these live streams outside um, it's, it's still difficult to read your messages because I am concentrating on what I'm looking at um, you know where I'm going and stuff like that but I am getting used to it so Kelly yeah you know it's warm now it was cold though this morning when I left the apartment so sorry which is why I have this jacket on okay so right here there's a small street um, that's um, like uh, parallel to the main street of Nakanodori and this is where there are all the uh, small local restaurants that you can come to and it's really really nice and I'm just gonna be careful with my filming because there are a lot of um, bars as well but we're not at that portion yet more of those vending machines vending machines everywhere to be honest with you this is a soup curry restaurant from Hokkaido uh, so Hokkaido's curry curry is not thick. It's actually like a soup um, It's good, but you know, I think Satoshi and I we're, we're both like We like the original one and then here we have an Asian restaurant and this is where you can get those banh mi sandwiches Vietnamese sandwiches Okay moving on there is another side street that you can go in here and this is a street that most people miss yeah this is this is a street that most people miss it's just one more street down and it's called Showa Street like Showa era street I'm um, Joyce they have pho at this other restaurant and I'll see if I can um, point that out to you because um, they do have one. So if you go one street further, there's even more, it becomes even more local and a lot more bars and restaurants like this place right here. I come here a couple of times and uh, that's the lunch menu. Look at the prices. The top is a, a, ham, a Salisbury steak lunch with salad and coffee and it's 700 yen. So that's like $5.50 US dollars. $5.50 in US dollars. And once again, no tipping. <laughs> so these are some bars. So you can, you can see how um, kind of atmospheric this street is. I love this street. 
And here, someone asked me about the fall. So this is, a, oh no, this is Thai food, sorry. Sorry, so there's a Thai restaurant here. Oh my God, this is a new restaurant. It's called Extreme Burgers. Oh, I just discovered a new restaurant. Oh, look, 100 all beef, 100% all beef handmade patties using the highest grade Yamagata beef. Yamagata beef, that's where uh, Satoshi's from. Oh, I definitely have to try coming here one day. Wow, new discovery, I love that. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. And then you have benches here where you can just sit and chill with your Big Mac, if that's what you like, because that's what she was eating. Um, here we are. This is the Vietnamese restaurant that I like. I think it's really good. And you can get pho here. He? Right here. Right there. Pho. So, I do recommend this place for delicious Vietnamese food. Their pho is pretty good. And their lunch menu is really, really reasonable. Like, you can, like A, you can get your choice of pho and you get a half portion of chicken rice and then you get a drink and it's for 850 yen to 1000 yen so you know calculate how much that would be but that's very very um, reasonable don't you think? Hey Jackie! Really you're Vietnamese! Amazing! You know my best friend when I was a kid was Vietnamese and when I used to go over um, to his house when I was a kid, um, uh, they used to always have uh, Vietnamese spring rolls, and uh, I never had pho. But uh, uh, a lot of times for dinner, they would have uh, like like vegetables and meat, and then you would have to wrap it up with the rice paper. And I really like that a lot. Yeah, there's a Mexican restaurant here, but it doesn't look good, so we'll keep walking. It's hard to find good Mexican food here in Japan. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go back to the other side street. And uh, yeah, Jackie Fa is life. You can say that again. Once again, you know, <laughs> this is something I take for granted when I'm in Japan because we have vending machines on like almost every street corner and we get so used to it the prices are super cheap i mean i mean look at the prices guys right and when i'm in san francisco like a drink would be like two dollars and 49 cents or something and i have to go into a store to buy the drink so i do take this for granted it's so convenient look you can even buy sake this is sake for 200 yen the sake in a glass bottle <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, the 100 yen machines are kind of rare, Jan. That is totally true. That's absolutely true. I think you won't be able to find them much like in the main areas like Shinjuku. Okay, so here we are. And this is uh, the, the other side street. This is where m most of the restaurants and pubs and bars are. At night, it, you know, it might seem a little seedy, but it's actually not. So, no worries. A lot of uh, small little restaurants down these small alleyways, so don't forget to check them out. Here, here, here. Just to prove how inexpensive Tokyo can be, that's a Korean barbecue um, lunch plate for 720 yen. Yeah, Tokyo's not expensive if you know where to go. Yeah? So. At nighttime, this place gets really crowded with people, but you know, not 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 um, not like crazy crowded. It's like a perfect crowded, like like festive atmosphere. <laughs> oh, and here is a very very popular, probably the most popular ramen restaurant in the Kano. It's called Aoba, and Satoshi totally recommends it. If you ask Satoshi, like where you should come to eat ramen, it's this place. It's this place right here. So, if you're in Nakano and you want what Satori considers the best ramen in this area, it's here. It's Aoba. Okay? <laughs> Chan goes to Japan. You know everything 
about this place, don't you? <laughs> Chan goes to Japan. I know Chan goes to Japan uh, like Nosh Abroad. You guys have been to Japan many, many times. Right? <laughs> ah, I'm getting hungry now too. Look, look at this place, it's a Chinese place. For lunch, everything is, it starts from 500 yen for a complete meal. Yes. Oh, here, here. Look, look, girl bars. See? So there are some like, uh, you know, like R-rated things here as well. <laughs> things that we don't really show on the Tabi Eats channel. And I'm walking this way because uh, we're walking back to the station. But I do want to um, show you guys um, why you guys have to, oops, you guys have to walk into the side streets because there's this side street that has a very interesting bar. Well, it's most likely it won't be open yet. Oh, this is a new place I haven't been to. That's another cool thing about Japan. Well, I guess anywhere. Um, if you haven't been to a place in a while, like a couple of months, you see some new restaurant. That's Indian food. But look, very, very typical Japanese. Vegetable, they spelled it wrong. Why couldn't they Google it? They could have Googled it and, you know, like, found out how to properly spell it, don't you think? I always tell Satoshi that. I mean, how hard can it be? We have the internet now. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a little kid in my way. Spell check. Exactly, Gene. Okay, uh, wait. Wrong, wrong street. One more street down. And in the middle of all this, you can even stop by a grocery store. For those of you who like visiting grocery stores in foreign countries, Life is a pretty good grocery store and it's right next to the station. The station is right there. It's right there. You just have to walk towards the um, right to get to the, the supermarket. It's just kind of hidden. And more vending machines. Okay, we're gonna turn here. We're walking back towards the station. So basically we went in, in a loop just around one small area of Nakano. Next time I'll show you guys the other side of Nakano, the uh, south exit. Because that side looks a lot different from this side. This is a Yoshoku restaurant. And this is where you can get. And this is for all of my Italian friends. You see, we do have Napolitan spaghetti. See, I was not lying. We, we have Napolitan, it is a thing. Oh, and this is one of my favorite ramen restaurants here. They are famous for tsukemen or dipping ramen. And this place, uh, what makes it special is that the soup is made entirely of vegetables. But you can't tell. It's really delicious. It's thick and like it's meaty tasting, but they don't use any uh, uh, meat. So I think that's pretty interesting and it's delicious. Okay. So if you walk like through this little tunnel right here, you get to that main shopping street that we came through first when we first started this live stream. Oh, here are more stuff. Aaron and Osh Abroad, you remember we had Japanese food in Japantown? I think this is gonna taste a lot better. Oh, you get this whole entire set for 800 yen. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go through here. And of course you can keep walking down here, but if you turn left here into this small little street, there are a couple of bars. Oh, here's another good ramen shop here. And they're also famous for their tsukemen. But right here, that's a bar. It's not open right now. And here's another bar right here. They're not, that's not open, but, but if you come at night, there will be people here at both of these places, okay? Then, here's another bar on this side and they serve oden, so it's an oden bar. And then, there's a stand-up soba shop on my right here. And one more thing I'd like to show you guys. See, we're, we're back at the station, guys, see? 
that's the north exit of the station, right here. Please come here if you're in this area. This is called uh, Lefte, and this place has been doing business forever. And of course, if you're like Arid, you can get the one with the uncle, the azuki beans. On the inside, they're Japanese pancakes. But my favorite is the chocolate. It's so good. And for winter, like uh, I'm looking at the menu right now, they actually have an apple cream one. That one is delicious. I have tried that before. They also have sweet potato. The sausage with the mayo is also delicious. But it's so good. And once again, Chan knows everything. You've tried it. Aren't they amazing? Aren't they good? The apple one. Oh my god. Glamour by Liz. So good. Um, but even the sausage and the mayo one. I know it sounds weird and not so appetizing, but when I first been into that, oh my god, it was delicious. It was so good. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna go back up the escalators and that's how we're gonna end the live stream, okay? Because once again, oh! I'm so sorry. Thank you so much, Nigel. Thank you so much, Nigel, for the super chat. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, like Aaron said, I wish I could teleport all of you guys here, like, you know, teleport you guys, and then we could all, you know, have. I, I, I buy each and every one of you guys one of those. Well, I don't know if I have that much cash on me, but we can all share. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this live stream. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about Nakano. Uh, I'm gonna just show you a little bit of what I'm gonna show you guys next time. So we're on the north exit, right? I told you. And Nakano is kind of like a mini, 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 mini miniature version of Shinjuku. And we kind of only walked like right around this area, just in this one block right here. See, but we haven't really walked on that side. There's not much over there, but, but there is a beautiful park over there. And then, if we, if we exit the other side of the station, there is Marui department store, and there's a whole bunch of other shops and restaurants. So, um, Nakano is a pretty nice place. But, as always, thank you so much to my wonderful moderators. You guys are amazing. I love you all. Um, whether or not you're a moderator, I love all of you guys for always joining me on these live streams. Thank you so much and take care everybody. Uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye everybody!